Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Night in the Woods. It's been a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but what happened last time is... Explore town like we usually do, fed the rat babies. And then we hung out with B. We went over to her house for dinner after she let us choose what we would have because she was too exhausted to just deal with us. And then May decided to try to give her a little bit of advice. Because we found out that B's dad is kind of an asshole. And he doesn't really pull his weight around his sh the shop. Even though he always constantly holds it over B's head that his name's on the lease. His name's on the payroll and all that. And May tried to help, but B wasn't really appreciative of it. And they kind of left with a lot of anger between the two of them. Well, B was more angry. May was just like sad. But anyways, uh, she did talk to us at the end of the night though. Uh, she messaged us, so we'll see how today is. Wiki wiki nay. Alright, let's see what else she said. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I've also found out that you can play this using a controller. So we don't have to deal with all this annoying clicking from my mouse and keyboard. But now I gotta figure out the controls all over again. Away message, annual Harvard Fest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Oh, that's today. Okay. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. All right. <sighs> Okay. Okay, so let's jump. Oh wait, maybe our dad finally cleared the crawl space because we talked to him last night. Oh god damn it. And ah oh, yeah, and he said that he would get around to it once we uh, why should we be with him? This is creepy. Hey, save. Oh, wait! <laughs> I know how to open this. Oh, yeah, the combination when we look at the bookshelf that one time. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, Granddad. Aha! It's opening. What's in it? What's in it? What the hell? It's an old tooth. What the fuck? Yeah. That's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Boop! Never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth. We're gonna go far. I'll take it. What the fuck? Serious tooth. We had to put up with Garbo and Malloy. And all we get out of it is a goddamn tooth. That's just fucking creepy. I have to love how that crawl space is like just big enough for me to walk through without having to like crouch. Damn it. I've definitely grown a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granda said I was sturdy. Screw it. I am sturdy. Yeah. Oh, nope. Oh, not yet. Hey, trash bird. <laughs> You're so mean to the bird, May. It never even leaves its cage. Oh, there's the boxes. Or were they always there? I can't remember. Mom's not looking as tired as she did yesterday. Hey, Mom. Mm -hmm. Um, you okay? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like ta talking about school yet? Um, okay. Not really. I want to find out what happened at her school. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? 
Ugh, never mind. Let's talk, let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know where the... Where the first... You're the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years, got into all kinds of trouble. You'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house? You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just wasn't where we should be. Oh god, mom. Mom, this isn't funny. You know what? No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the re most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Things are getting serious in this game. First we have the fight with B, now we have this fight with her mom. Though I can understand where she's getting from, I and mean, you spend all those years saving up all that money, planning for their future for your child, because every parent wants what's best for the child. They want to give them the life that they never got had. And so I can understand the frustration, but at the same time, college doesn't always work out for everyone. I know there were plenty of times when I was in college where I felt like I just can't take it. I'm just not good enough. It's not working and I just wanted to quit. So I can also understand at the same time where May is coming from. Damn. Whoa! Decorations! Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez! Want to hear a new poem? Nah, maybe not time. Yeah, let's do it. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwave. Pizza I'd save. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. Cold breakfast cold pizza for breakfast is really good. My brother and I used to do that all the time when we were younger. I still do it. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for trick or treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? At heart. No, I'm not. Eh. I'm a child at heart. What do you guys say, Grump Grump? Don't touch my pumpkin. Touch. That's exactly what I would do, because this guy's so rude. I'm like, poke. Oh, is Mr. Borowski up on the roof? Oh, wait, no. That, the whole reason why I went up there is because I can get onto the power line through this guy's roof. I think I got double jump because it's been a while since I played. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's not on there. I don't think there's really any other reason for us to be up here. Unless we can make a comment about the clothesline, but there's nothing on there. Yeah, forget it. 
forget about it. Whee! Yes! I didn't land for a transition. <sighs> okay, before we do anything else, let's go get the pretzel for the um, rat babies. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. I think she's gonna like say this every time. Nope. Hi. Nope. Don't mind me. Nope. Nope. This is unfairly easy now. Let's see what else there is, there is to interact. Are those rude kids going to be here again? Uda, what? Where is everyone? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome! Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. <laughs> How she understood any of that. Oh, pretty much you're probably just gonna go around and TP all the houses. Probably egg a few cars. That's the right word for egg? Like, throw the eggs. I'm like, ah, oh, goddammit, my car got egged. I never did that. I was a good child. Not a boring child, what it was. Any new advertisement? I don't know why I bother checking. There's always never anything new on here. Yeah, there's never anything new on here. Why do I do that? No, I want to get out of this. I don't want to quit. It's like the first three episodes of this Let's Play all over again. What button does what? See what Pastor K has to say. Her mom's probably gonna be at work. Can we try talking to her? I'm busy. Yeah, she's still mad. Pastor K isn't in here. Love, peace, joy. Let's see if Bruce has anything to say. Oh, there's Pastor K. Oh. Breathe some fire already, dude. Oh, like how he drew it in the journal. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling me ahead and heading out. And them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint... Rubello. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, ate people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But, yeah, basically. <laughs> cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But we can't learn something. But can't we learn something from St. Rubello? Breathe fire. Eat people. Sure. <laughs> this statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. It's working! <laughs> Eat people. Going all Hannibal up in this business. 
I really need to watch more of that show. Hey, Bruce. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Oh no, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. Bruce is a man of few words. Or he just doesn't want to talk to me. May seems to be getting into a lot of fights, so maybe it's best that nobody talks to her. I know this doesn't make me go any faster and it's probably slowing me down, but I like jumping everywhere. Or not for babies. Rat babies. Harfest! Brought to you by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, yeah, puppy, shut up. Uh, I keep going over there thinking that there's gonna be something there. Oh, Horror Girl isn't there. Did we ever actually learn her name? That like little mouse girl who called us killer when we first came in? Cause if not, I'm just gonna call her Horror Girl. Cause she likes horror movies and she wants to work on them. Oh, we're not gonna talk about the door. Um, the door. How many of you are there now? All right, my little miracle babies. Time to eat. There's four. I think there was like three the last time. Get over here, you bat bastard. You rat bastards. Probably gonna be over here. Oh, gotcha. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Miracle Rats. Achievement. Are we not going to be able to feed them now? Is that the last we'll see of them? That was cute, though. I love you, Miracle Rats. Aunt Malkop. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust large bear machines you can assemble and disassemble in a day. It's the hit record. We always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and calm down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. All right then, I'll send you all your loss all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. <laughs> This is just a day of like tense. Like tension there. We go. <laughs> We're just staring at each other. Hey, Aunt Mall Cop! Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Yes! I guess you need that gun for. What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. May definitely has problems with authority figures. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. 
I'll look into it. You live in a small town. I can't really imagine you having to. You know... Aw, everything is so great and harvesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. There she is! You hyped for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool! It is! Gonna get pizza, too! All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Ruining my life. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to bring it up. No, it's fine. Just the thing that happened. Oh, right. The thing. Yep, that's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yep. See ya! Later! You can talk to her again? Probably gonna be- yeah. <laughs> She's a cute kid! I keep changing her voice because I don't remember what I do for her. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Angus, my man! Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you two. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Dear spooky face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. <laughs> yeah, it's adorable, too. And it's adorable. <laughs> Not scary. Oh. <laughs> it's all my ears. <laughs> nice effort, though. <laughs> <laughs> His little ears. I love the characters in this game so much. What you gotta say about the smelters? Why do I even care what they have to say about the smelters? You going to Harfest? Nah, I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen a game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Yeah, hey, alright. Yeah, go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters! I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I keep trying in vain, but I'm hoping at least one of these days they go up to that one freaking rooftop. Guys, goddammit, I know we can interact with something up there! See? I even saw the bubble pop up! How do we get up there? Hey, Greg. Hey, man. How's things? Good. Harfest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave, is bad. Christian, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christian. Christian. Not Christian. Christian. I try to be out the door before she clocks in. Nice. 
Anyways, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm very. No. Later. Like I said, I'm focusing on B this whole time. I didn't go into the old pickaxe. I think I walked right past it. Is there anyone else over here? Sometimes there is. Can we talk to Germ? I like jumping. Art of Hometown since 1992. Ooh, don't care. Nope, no one to talk to over here. Oh, hi! Hey, Germ! Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi! I'm Bill Don. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Eh, yeah, we might hop over. Check out the pate. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? They'll do, you know? Yeah, man, local legend. My man, Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off in this town. Because of that ghost. Ah, that's a load of crap. He snuck it, he sneaks into railway yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to feel in. Damn it, old timer, we're for pure as of air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you then. Nice to meet you. Same, little lady. See you, Germ. See ya. Pentagram. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave now, I said. Talk to me right now, and then we go home and change. Oh, we can't go into the old pickaxe. I kind of. I'm trying to remember, because I have seen the Let's Play of this, but I can't remember many things. But I think... That white Jack Septic guys. Um, he was able to do... Greg's... Little event. And then Bees was later on that night. We could do that with the uh, helping out in the uh, play. I'm almost tempted to go back. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin the playthrough. Because, like I said, I wanted to focus on B's story. Uh, don't know what the hell I'm doing. I do I know what I'm doing.
Oh, I can't even tap on the um. Greg's thing shouldn't take that long. I'm trying to remember, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet! Witch Dagger! Oh, like the poster in her room. <sighs> Anyone else on? Yeah, I guess we could have done Greg's thing. Oops. Sorry, people. Go watch Accept, guys. <laughs> Let's play if you want to see what happens. We have no arms! We can't even jump. Oh, uh, they're cats, but they have a cat clock. Hello? Hm. They must already be out. And they left without us. Harfest! My back is hurting. Oh, my ankle's cracking again. Sorry, I haven't had any coffee. Whoa! Halloween Harfest! I love Halloween. Oh, yeah, we can't jump, so we can't go up there. I like this music. <laughs> Kids and all by themselves there. Hey, when's this supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce, or will be big? For this. Jeez, I hear ya. But. Okay, here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I have had like three no shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? Let's go with fake history. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. Nearly every book movie ever. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got, like, five minutes to look at your lines. I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. I'm gonna wing it. Poor Zoltan. Nice hat. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ghosts, are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? Through the mists of time I see weary fur traders from 1793. Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow. And within, a great dead tree. And besides with the witch, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen. From 
For truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. That doth make haste, O excellent brother. Ho, traveler, spare a crust of bread for a needy old lady. Ho, travelers, help an extremely old lady. Let's, this one sounds more professional. <laughs> this is so cheesy and bad. Hi, good witch! Horrible to look upon. Cruel young man. You do not even offer... You do not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee. And this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out to into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Thou art so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone. Come, help me carry thee three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Is that it? Oh, nope. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Hey, Greg! Ah, uh, um, ah, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, uh, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, to this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. The wounds! We can't buy this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lies underneath the earth, upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart! <laughs> A curse upon rude young men. I did curse this spring. That's not... Um... Ah, oh, I fucked it up. Didn't I? She has cursed the spring and now I shall die. Fuck! Ow. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drank it's the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Damn, I messed it up. That's gonna annoy me. <laughs> hey, dude's back. Get that tail out of your face. It's been there all the time. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Oh, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. <laughs> it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Uh, um, crap. For... For what is a ghost? For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. Hey, it's a janitor! You! From the bus station! Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So... 
which thou hast tired too long, tired too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. I, what? God, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak with him to you. We begin and we end. At night in the woods. But I'm... But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. How do you know so much about me? Forest god, thou hast no power here. Even now thy begin end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. <clears throat> Even now, the world you know endeth. Endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> Take care. I am the box ghost! I'm sorry. <laughs> and so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. Ah, Mayor Ghost decree it. The beaver population to I Mayor Ghost oh, yeah. The beaver population su suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the country seat. Hee hee hee. Now leave before I curse you no. Curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here. For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs C Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. There we go. Jeez. Thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more of a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it! Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. <laughs> hey. That kid's still over here, but <gasps> what the? What the? Oh my god! Hey, anyone? Shit! How did he go? Shit. There he is. How do you get over a fence? Uh, what? Hey, Aunt Molly. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill! He stole some kid! He looked like a ghost! A ghost, huh? Or something like that? 
May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. I'm trying to go save a kid. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Where are we? This isn't like our normal dreams, and we usually go to bed before that happens. I can't even jump, I can literally just only walk. This is creepy. I don't like these sounds. What is that? A booth? Part 3, The Long Fall. <laughs> Did you even unlock? What? Okay then. Ah, uh, I'm gonna stop that right here then. Things are getting interesting in Possum Springs. What the fuck was that? And what was I dream? That was not like our usual dreams. The color scheme was all different. The music wasn't eerie. It was just plain creepy. And those sounds. What was that at the end? Was it? A, I want to say it was a booth, but it doesn't look like a booth because it had like an open back. Damn. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Um. Until next time. Bye! What the fuck is happening?